Hello and welcome to this first look at the gameplay of Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut for the Wii U. In this walkthrough, Adam finds himself on a hunt for clues as he tries to find a way inside FEMA camp. So let's get started by taking a look at what's on the other side of that door. The Wii U gamepad makes it easy to access your mission logs while cycling through and swapping out weapons from your inventory with the touch of a finger. Get out of sight, now! Why, what's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. Fuck! I'm going in. The map editor option can be used to strategically work your way through hostile territory. Editing your route will automatically be displayed on your radar to help guide you. There are several guards up ahead. Using the Smart Vision Plus feature can help you see where the guards are located, what they're carrying on them, and just how much of a threat they really pose. When you find yourself in open areas, try using your cloaking system to avoid nearby guards. The hovering info log icon represents one of the many new features implemented in the director's cut. Info logs allow players to take pictures and make notation throughout the game, which can then be posted on the Miiverse for friends playing the same title. This is a great way to send and receive helpful hints. With the new director's cut, users can play the entire game on the Wii U gamepad by activating the gamepad mode feature. The game plays and feels as if you were playing from your TV set. When using the sniper rifle, the Wii U gamepad is turned into your sniper scope when zoomed in. Use your thumbsticks to lock in on a target. So right now we'll be taking a look at the very first boss fight in the game. Barrett is your tank archetype enemy who can dish out and take a lot of damage. Look out for Barrett's grenades when he lobs them in your direction. You can use the all new grenade throwback feature to toss grenades thrown at you by your enemies. In the director's cut, we took feedback gathered from the game's fans and improved all of the boss levels. Not by just moving a few things around, but by totally expanding the levels and providing the user with new and exciting ways to defeat bosses. Like 
The most feedback we received concerning the boss fight was that they were too combat oriented. For those playing the game, using more hacking or stealth, you'd have a really hard time beating those boss fights. So now we've implemented hacking challenges in secret areas that rewards pathfinding by players. Players can now defeat all bosses without firing a single bullet. Hacking has now been made easier and more intuitive with the use of the Wii U gamepad. Access granted. Developer commentary has been added to the director's cut to give users an insider's view on the development of the game. While playing the new boss fights, if a player is lacking weapons or ammo, they may stumble upon rooms like this one that can help them out in a time of need. And so it became a the new areas of this level provide access to weapons that can prove to be useful in your fight against Barrett. Take these gun turrets, for example. If we can find a terminal, we might be able to hack into them. The bus fight would influence what kind of tools the bus would have. Like, let's see, if there's a terminal in that room over there that might give us access to the gun turrets. But with Barrett on the prowl, it's too risky trying to get in through the door. Let's use the vent behind those boxes. There's no time to hack this terminal, so I'll use an auto-unlocking device, better known as AUD, to gain access. Now that the gun turrets are active, let's use them to finish off Barrett. The gun turret will track Barrett's movements, lock in and begin to open fire. Got him. And there you have it. From all of us here at Eidos Montreal, we hope you enjoyed getting a look at the exciting Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Be on the lookout for more videos soon.